All right, so how to deal with haters? I know we all have them. And the first thing I wanna say is if you've, if you've decided to be online in any way, shape or form, you've given, you've given haters access to you, right? So it doesn't matter if it's a close family member or it doesn't matter if it's a friend that you've been close with for a long time. Haters are everywhere. Some expose themselves earlier than others and they're just out there, you know, bottom line. Haters are out there. But the thing is, the thing that you have to realize when it comes to haters is you and I have given them license to hate on anything that we do because we exposed ourselves on the internet. I can't even say it. On the internet. We've exposed ourselves on the internet, whether that is through Facebook family photos or or videos or Instagram or 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 social media as like Twitter and different things like that. We've given these haters license to us because we are online. So if you didn't want haters online, you shouldn't be online, right? But you decided that you wanted to expose yourself uh, through your arts and your gifts and you wanted to be online, so you decided to go online on social media, Instagram, and all those different things to show yourself online, and you've given people access to who you are and what you do through pictures and video. You, you've given them access to do that. So now that you've given them access to do that, now you have haters coming to you, and you don't like that. Well, the fact of the matter is you've given them license and you just have to deal with that portion of it. Okay, so, but the thing is, what, what I want to say is I've learned a couple of things from haters. Whether they've uh, uncovered themselves or I sense that they're haters or they're blatant haters on anything that I do, whether it's recording a video or, you know, recording a podcast or whatever it is, I've identified a couple of things about haters that I wanted to share with you, okay? The first thing I wanna share with you is the fact that haters, from my experiences, are lonely people, okay? So they're lonely people, even in a crowd, they're lonely people, okay? The second thing I've learned is that they have low self-esteem, okay? That's the second thing I've learned. The third thing I've learned is that they do not know how to properly channel or control their emotions or even properly verbalize their emotions, you know, period, right? So whether they've been bullied or anything like that, because I know the bullying thing goes around and, you know, we talk about that online, online bullying and stuff like that. But uh, there's some things that we've given individuals license to because we are online, right? So they're lonely, potentially, low self-esteem, and they have not properly learned how to channel or properly been trained to channel their emotions or verbalize how they feel about certain things. So it's usually, you know, a rage thing or, or whatever. But here's how I deal with them now, okay? And I just wanna share a couple of things with you. The way I deal with haters now is I do not feed them, okay? So typically what we do is we get online, we get a hate comment on a YouTube thing or a podcast thing or an Instagram thing or a Facebook thing or whatever we're doing online, we get a comment and we instantly want to engage what the comment is about, you know, whatever they said. That's, that's, you shouldn't even be doing that because now what you're doing is you're fueling them to continue to do what they're doing, right? Whether they continue to do it or not just to get a response, you should not have to respond to them because most of the things that they're talking about and most of, most of the things that they're trying to attack with what you're doing online, they want to get a reaction from you. So you giving them a reaction based on a comment that you saw or something that was said, you're feeding them and you're giving them license to do that. So, so don't do that, right? So, so the second thing too, as it relates to family hate, whether it's undercover or it's been exposed, it's the, the same principle applies. I don't feed it, nor do I entertain it, okay? So family members tend to use their closeness to you, right, to pretty much try to put the hate on you because they know that they already have a relationship with you. So the last thing that you wanna do 
is feed that or entertain that because they're close family members because they are the ones closest to you so they want to make sure that they want to find something that they already know about you to use that to get a reaction out of you based on whatever the situation is in the family so and that's another thing too i don't feed them okay nor do I entertain them. So if there's something that's family related and I know there's a uh, particular issue that's either arising uh, for whatever that you know my family is doing personally and they don't like that, I just try to nip it as quickly as possible so I don't have to deal with it. Whether it's you know close family members, um, whether it's uh, married into family members or whatever it is, I try to nip it in the butt immediately because I just want peace, right? That's my thing. So don't feed them, don't entertain them. Now, if you have to address them, if you if you for if you just have to get it out and you have to address them, then be prepared for whatever reaction that comes out of that, right? Because you decided to react on an emotional level, usually that's what it is. So now you have to be prepared on whatever is going to come from that because of whatever you said. So don't feed them, don't entertain them, and the individuals who are undercover haters that you have no idea who they are, or you may have an idea who they are based on the way that they behave, you know, you just leave it the way it is and don't try to engage uh, any situation that would bring negativity or, or as they say, bad energy or, or anything like that against you or your family. So try to play it, you know, with wisdom. Don't engage things that you do not need to engage. Now, you have... YouTube comments, you have, um, I guess, individuals who want to call in on a show and leave a, a bad review or they leave a bad review on iTunes or whatever the case might be. You know, you can say, you know, thanks for the feedback and then boom, just be done with it. You know, you don't have to necessarily engage because the person left a bad review or a bad comment on something that they posted online for you. So, so you have to be really, really wise about that especially if you're trying to keep the peace and you're trying to focus on things that you're trying to do, whether it's, you know, podcasting related or anything online media related, whether it's YouTube related or whatever. So you have to make sure that you keep the, keep the focus and do not feed those comments that are coming your way. You know, that, that's, that's how I deal with it. Now, there are different ways that haters try to get to you, right? So let's just talk about that real quick because I'm thinking about it, right? They try to get to you, to individuals that you love, okay? So I'm gonna play this out because I don't believe in doing like retakes and stuff like that when I do YouTube videos. I just wanna give it to you as I'm thinking about it, okay? So they try to get to you through family members because they can't get to you directly, okay? So let's say for me, for example, if anyone is trying to get to me, they try to get to either my wife or my daughter because they realize that they're not gonna get to me directly based on the foolishness and the stuff that they do. So what I do now is I prepare my daughter and my wife for any potential things that I believe may take place before it actually takes place. I'm not a, I'm not a you know a prophet or anything like that, although I've been labeled that, but there's been situations where I've prepared my family, and you should do the same, to any situation that can potentially happen to them because the person, whoever it is, family or non-family, can't get to me emotionally, you know, or intellectually, so they'll attack my wife or my daughter or anybody that they believe to be close to me just to get to me. And that would happen to you too. So you have to be very, very careful on how you deal with that because they know for a fact that it's a lost cause because you've already, you know, know their patterns or how they trend on how they do things. So they try to get to you through your family members and individuals that are really, really close to you. So you have to really pay attention to that as well. So what you have to do with that is arm your people, close family, or extended family, or individuals that connect, that are really, really connected with you, because you're not connected to all your family members on the same level. Some are closer than others, that's just the fact of life, okay? So arm the individuals that are closest to you for potential things that can happen, especially if you're considered an online media personality or, or, or whatever it is, but you need to arm your family members so they're not, um, blinded you know to situations when they occur 
because you were already aware of it. So if you have the foresight and you don't arm your family members, then that's not cool because especially if you have the information and you know what potentials could happen or you line up different scenarios, even though the scenarios may seem extreme, but for the hater, it's not extreme. So you need to arm your family members in any way, shape or form that you can. So if those scenarios actually take place, then they were prepared. They were like, oh, see, how did you know that was going to happen? Or see, how did you know that, you know, you just arm your family members the best way you can. So you don't feed the haters. You don't entertain the haters and you do not you do not leave your family members close friends or whoever they may be defenseless when they have to react or interact with a potential hater so that's how i deal with it now so even you know certain things in social media that i that i do whether i'm posting you know the latest show or posting the latest video and, and as of late i've been wanting to do a lot of video just different things i'm thinking about i definitely want to share with you and i definitely want to hear your comments about this particular video because um there's i'm sure there's so many different scenarios but these are the things that i try to make a, a, a general practice you know not feeding not entertaining and arming the individuals that i love or individuals that are really really close to me with potential scenarios that could happen if they have to deal with somebody that's either an undercover hater that i sense that's a hater in any way shape or form or blatantly blatantly a hater i know they're a hater and they don't know i know they're a hater okay so that's close family knit ties you know relationships because of close friends and family and, st and stuff like that so i try to deal with those things in advance so I can keep the peace and, you know, online media creation and also keep the peace in my home. So that's how I do it. I definitely want to hear how you do it. You know, I, w I was thinking about, you know, this stuff, how to deal with, with haters uh, today. I definitely wanted to share this particular video with you. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it makes sense uh, because I like to, I like these videos because I'm able to think out loud because they're not rehearsed. Um, some people think that, um, well, videos that aren't re rehearsed are necessarily well prepared, and that's okay. You know, if that's your take, that's cool. And uh, videos that are not necessarily rehearsed and just recorded are genuine, and that's if that's your take, that's cool too. But I definitely wanted to share what I was thinking about um, haters with you, how to, how to deal with them, you know, strategic ways to, you know, keep the peace in your home and in your family and, and all those things. So deal with them accordingly. Um, but understand that if you have decided to be online in any way, shape, or form, you've given anybody license to attack you online, whether you like it or not. You know, but the hope is if you deal with them strategically, there's going to be peace in your home, peace in your family, and arm your family so they don't have to deal with any, you know, nonsense in the future. So thanks for watching. Uh, definitely leave me your comments about this particular video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.